Welcome back, Daydreamer. Good to be back on a Friday, isn't it? Well, today we are going to tackle creating a kit with Kit Bash methods because a official Bandai release never happened. Ragtag Daydreams is sponsored by NewTypeHQ.com. All right, so you heard correctly. Bandai never made a version of this kit, but it was in one of the shows. Now, um, pause the video, and you can you can just you know kind of guess what I might be making this week right now, and feel free to leave me a comment below with what you might think. Otherwise, I'm going to let you in on something. There was a once upon a time a contest where Bandai was taking and Sunrise, of course, because it was part of the show. Uh, was taking submissions from people to see who would get a chance to have their mobile suit, um, their their unique mobile suit that they could create in Build Fighters Try. Uh, I don't know if they actually list it as Build Fighters Try or just like in a episode, but yeah, it was in Build Fighters Try. So um, if anybody knows me they know that i really like char and i really like making fun of his stupid clark kent get up when he was quattro vagina for vagina and it is really something that i i kind of immediately link to like red ferraris and like super exotic cars and and he was cool and he was a new type and like I just, I dig him. This, this is, um, Quattro Pagina. Um, so, um, yeah, it's really, really cool. I got that from a very good friend, and, um, with the help from that very good friend and another friend that is a pretty good friend, but I don't think he knew that I was going to use this stuff. Uh, did you remember the episodes where we, I was kit bashing for Kit Bash Chaos, with Not So Average Builder, and um, and Gumpley Diversity's event that they put on? If you remember that one, <laughs> I showed you this box of spare parts from this guy who was he was moving, and so he just said, you know what? There's a whole bunch of these high grades, and I don't want them. Uh, like I built them, I had fun in the process. I'm not gonna keep them. I'm tossing them, and that's when I and the rest of the Gumpla group that I have here locally said, "Pump the damn brakes! You're not just gonna throw those away. We can use those for kit bashes. We can use those for like spare parts if we lose something. Uh, uh, we'll take them." So they're hanging out at this guy's house, and uh, he's a very good friend. He got me the, the statue. This other fella who's who's holding on to him, and he sends me this idea. And the idea is that I should make this. This was a design that was built on, uh, I think it was Gundam Breaker 3. Uh, that's what it was submitted um, as far as a screenshot of. And Bandai thought it was a good, it was a good suit design. So they put it in the last episode of Build Fighters Try when everybody's just kind of going all like battle royale, fun times, just slap happy, everybody join in um, at the end of the season, last episode. You also see it in the case, like in the whole like World Cup type thing, like they're walking through. You see it in the case and then you see it in the virtual world after that. And I love Char, I love red suits. I wanted to make this happen. So we dig through this bag of goodies, and I was able to piece together all of the pieces that I would need to make at least my version of this build. And I say it's my version because it's not exactly accurate to the picture that you just saw. It is close, and it has a little bit of my styling to it, where they have um, some kind of GM parts and things like that. I chose to use the uh, RX-78-2. The, uh, the granddaddy parts. I, uh, I wanted there to be a little bit more detail there, essentially. So I couldn't find exactly the same skirt armor, so I made do with what I had and what I could find there. There was a certain type of GM that was in there that was very close, 
and you'll see me modify that as well. More thanks goes to this guy because he also had bought two, yes, two real grade Sananju kits. And he was very, very kind enough to say, you know what, I had to buy two of these because I lost some pieces. I didn't use any of the pieces from the chest. You can use that for the for this build. Like, just take it. I'm, it's going to sit here and collect dust. Take it. So, yet again. And then finally, finally, this guy whips out a Kotobukiya lance. Like, it's a lance. Hello. Like, a lance, okay? Um, and was all like, hey, you know, I'm not going to use this anymore either. I was going to use this to kitbash something else, and then I got that part. 3D printed for me, so I don't need it anymore. Go ahead, have at it. So, um, you know, out there, uh, you know who you are, uh, Patrick. Thanks very much, man. You definitely, um, you you made this build through me. So uh, I was just your proxy, but I appreciate you giving me the opportunity and making sure that I had all the stuff to do this, including some of the custom mixed paints. Yeah, this guy, he loves doing paints too. But yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, this is this this whole episode is definitely sponsored by you and uh, in by care of you, my friend. If you saw the new sign that I have in this new intro, he was also the fellow that that gifted me with that for my birthday, along with the Quattro Vagina figure. Um, can't say enough good things about this guy. He's really part of the backbone of this channel because of how much he tries to help me come up with ideas and he is he just really provided everything for this episode but enough of that enough of that my appreciation should be no mile enough of that if you like stuff like this if you like custom work please hit like consider subscribing if you're not subscribed yet we are almost to 500 subs and at 500 subs i am going to be doing a giveaway for a verka ball kit so Without any further ado, I present to you what I'm affectionately calling the Char Zabi.
What you need, 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 what you need,